So uh, thank you for the introduction, Professor Okada. I'm Nakagawa, and I want to uh, just give a small mini recital. I hope you will enjoy the recital. Uh, so the first music is composed by J.S. Bach from 14 Canons. I will select a few uh, pieces from 14 Canons. 14 Canons, well, so Mr. Jo Kondo, Professor Kondo, also uh, quoted this piece, and it's from Goldberg Variation. And there's the first aria from the Goldberg Variation, and it is under the first eight fundamental notes of this aria. So, well, this is supposed to be a recital to travel through the 20th music, and uh, as uh, Professor Okada mentioned, to well, I'm going to play the Bach piece at the beginning, and it's like the Oriental custom of burning incense, and in uh, other recitals, uh, usually the performers start with the Bach music, and I think that uh, starting with the Bach music kind of purifies the recital, and also the construction of Bach's music has had a, a vivid impact to the 20th music, and so that's also why I'm going to play the music of Bach. 14 canons. I have not yet decided which one I'm going to play, but I'd just like to start.
So that was uh, box 14 cannons. And next, I will play a piece from Olivia Messian, a laureate of Kyoto Prize. And from Preludes, I will play La Colombe. It's a, a French word, La Colombe. It's a pigeon. And, well, usually in, in French, this bird is uh, more often called pigeon. However, when uh, they specify white pigeon or when they want to refer to pigeon as a symbol of peace or purity or spirit, they use, they call them la colombe. This is uh, the piece that was composed when Messiaen was about 20 years old. And next, I will play a composition composed from John Cage, another laureate of Kyoto Prize, solo for piano. And solo for piano was uh, originally composed as piano concerto to be accompanied by the orchestra. And the original title is Concert, Concert for Piano and Orchestra. However, it is considered okay to just take out the piano part. And in that case, the title will be solo for piano. So uh, today I want to play the solo. So I just want to show you the score. And graphic score is what is used. So it's not the usual notes, but it's kind of a unique Maybe it's difficult to see, but just want to give you a glimpse.
So at least look it from uh, your mental eyes, so to say. So now I will play solo for piano and so why graphic score is being used? Uh, well, it's going to take a long time to explain, so I will not explain, but just please enjoy the uh, music.
So, I just played a solo composed by John Cage, and I want to play another piece from John Cage. And next is the more orthodox type of music. Well, actually, the previous one also had the, the notes, so actually it was really a score. And uh, The next piece from John Cage is two piece for piano. And this was composed in 1946. 
And under the same title, there was a, another music with the same title from 1935, but today I want to play the one from 1946. So I will play the two pieces for piano, the second uh, tune from two pieces, second piece.
And next, I want to play a music composed by Dr. Jo Kondo, titled Metaphonesis. And it does not use the general structure principle for dramaturgy that is uh, used in Western music or the novel, so there is no real climax to this music. So, well, this is, uh, I think, related more to the American pop art, which uh, rearranges the elements or alterates the elements. And So it, the static drama is created in this music. And, well, so there's some commonality with the cage piece. But there is a difference, so I hope that you will see the difference uh, between the two.
And uh, I'm going to play my music, and I uh, have uh, selected the title today, and it is a sweet for piano, is the title that I gave to this music today. And it's not such a long piece, so hope you enjoy. <laughs> So, uh, finally, I would like to play my music. Needless to say that I just finished the first part and I'm going to continue the second movement.
Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Nakagawa. And uh, well, this session is again behind schedule. And so, as for the schedule, well, Mr. Nakagawa had prepared a brief encore piece, and I want you to enjoy this piece. So, Mr. Nakagawa, please continue with the encore piece. Well, the title is Sunflower, and this uh, music. Well, so this is completely a different style from the contemporary music that I've played, and I am uh, earning a lot of money by making commercial song. And this sunflower is one uh, that I made for the TV commercial for Japan Advertising Council uh, to promote the bone marrow bank. And well, so this CM was aired with the image of the late uh, Natsume, uh, Masako Natsume, a famous actress who died of leukemia. And the title of this piece is Sunflower. Thank you. 